Hey guys, it's Carmen here again. I just wanted to come in and talk to you guys about our new Stoneware Glaze Speckled Toad. So Speckled Toad is this really nice, beautiful green glaze that actually does have a lot of variation in it. When you're applying the glaze, if you apply it a little bit thinner, you're gonna be getting a semi-transparent, really warm olive green color. And then the heavier that you're applying it, the more you're gonna get into kind of this metallic, sage, opaque finish that happens there. Um, with a heavier application of two to three coats, you're gonna be getting this really nice um, crystal blooming or speckling that happens here. Uh, hopefully you can see it on this latte cup I have. If not, we're gonna be posting more pictures if you haven't seen any already of really nice close-up images of those specks that happen. And actually, if you look really, really closely at them, it's these beautiful like crystals that bloom in the glaze which is a really, really unique effect to have with just like our regular stonework glaze line. It's not gonna have the little pebbles in it like all of our other crystal glazes happen. This actually happens in the glaze, in the firing. Um, it's reacting to your kiln environment. You don't need any specific special program or anything like that. Um, all of these pieces here were fired just to cone six and you have some really, really beautiful results with that. Um, firing application. So that is really, really nice. Um, as far as actually firing it goes, all of these samples here, these were fired to cone six, like I said. All of our stoneware glazes have a firing range from cone five to cone 10. All of our cone 10 results are listed here on the label. We have images of them on our website as well as in our stoneware brochure. So if you do wanna check that out for all of our stoneware glazes, they're available there. Um, this glaze in particular, when it gets up to cone 10, it gets more metallic, more silver kind of, but, and then there will be, sometimes you'll get a little bit of texture with it as well, primarily on flat surfaces, sometimes on vertical surfaces as well, you kind of have a bubbling effect, similar to our magmas, I suppose. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, definitely check it out. Always read the labels to make sure you know what you're going to get but we do recommend testing. Everyone's kiln environment's different. Everyone's process is a little bit different. So there are gonna be, there is gonna be variation in results based on those kinds of things. Um, as far as performance goes, this glaze is a gloss glaze. And when it comes to movement with the glaze, it will have a little bit of movement that happens with it. So specifically on forms like this, um, really straight up and down forms. I would definitely recommend receding your coats. Um, it's not something that has like a really, really lot of movement. You're not like guaranteed going to fire it to your shelf whenever you do your firings. Just like a really simple receding of coats, you know, first coat to the bottom, second coat up a finger, third coat up two fingers. That should be plenty of room for it to recede. No problems. Um, and then as with, um, most of our stoneware glazes, these are all food safe and dinnerware safe. So again, check the labels for that. And that's really all I have for you with speckled toad. So I really hope that this was informative for you. Please feel free to ask any questions you have in the comments below. And please check out your nearest Mako distributor to pick up pints of our new glazes. Thanks guys. See ya.